everyone, Henrik Karapetian here at Violin Outside the Box with Dr. K. I have wanted to do this video for a while, mostly for my students, but also I think it'll work uh, well for a lot of high school students and uh, maybe college students too, you know, freshmen, sophomore who are looking for um, practical patterns for playing scales. Uh, I'll go right into it. Um, I use only two different patterns for scales for all three octave major and minor scales. And um, this works whether you are playing the scales in triplets, yeah, or whether you're doing the galami and turn around. So you're playing it in quadruples, quadruplets. Um, and this is, you know, something that the galami and turn around is something that's often required at, um, at high school auditions. Um, it works with both ways of playing the scales. The essence of it is this. Um, when I start the scale, I pay attention whether it's um, I'm starting on open string, second finger or fourth finger, so even numbered fingers, or I'm starting um, on one or three, so these are odd numbered fingers, and that will determine uh, my shifting um, choices later. Um, here it is. If I start on an even numbered finger, let's start on open string, G. Then I do my very first shift, and I usually do my first shift on A string, just to have it. Uh, I do my first shift after third finger, so I'm going to the fourth position. Yeah, I stop fourth. Four is an even number, so I started on zero. Uh, I'm going to the fourth position. If I start on an even numbered finger, I go to an even numbered position. If that makes sense. <laughs> And then rest of the shifts are exact, just one, two, one, two, one, two on E string. It's always the same, and then going back same way too. So here it is. One shift on E. Yeah. Um, here's another one. I'll play D major's scale. Here's the shift to the fourth position. Many more shifts on E string, but all the same shifts one, two, one, two, one, two. So it wasn't really in tune up in the, in the high position. Um, that's uh, one, one pattern. The other pattern is actually simpler. When I start the um, scale on a, on a first finger or third finger, so um, an odd numbered finger, I'll play an A major scale. And I simply go to third position, you know, one, two, one. The, um, the ob objective is to land on the fourth finger on your last note. That's it. Yep, and uh, again, works for major and minor scales. Hope this makes sense. Uh, again, in a nutshell, I start on an even numbered note, even numbered finger, sorry, zero, two, or four. I shift on an even number position, fourth position. If I start on an odd numbered uh, finger, one or three, then I my first shift is to an odd numbered position, third position. The rest of the shifts, whatever number of shifts you are going to need, are going to be on E string, one two one two one two one two, and you play the last couple of notes with three four four three two one two one two one two one two one. Uh, and then going back basically exactly the same way. Hope this was helpful. If there are any more questions, if you need more clarifications, please um, send comments. I'll be glad to answer. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. This was Henrik Karapetian at Violin Outside the Box with Dr. K. I'll see you soon.